Alrighty, let's check this out. The sound. It's a very minimal sound, it's kind of cute. Uh, let me just turn this off just for now. I think the biggest thing, let me just zoom in a bit, right? That would be your full full frame shot. So the biggest thing I would say is just the visibility for the posing where to me it's a bit too, it's better than straight on where it starts to hide legs, but it's a little bit overlappy. It gets better through there, but it's almost like, to me, it's almost like you want to go more this way than this way to get a full, nice, clean silhouette of the walk. And you could just globally shift the character over. And then on this this jump, you can globally cheat it back to this position. So it goes like this, you know, it's like angled this way and then jump up in the air, angled this way. So that way you also don't have the thing of it's like this and then it's still like this. So you have a bit of a overall body angle contrast. And even then, I'd be careful. We're having, like, you know, tangents on this, the eye and the nose, a bit overlappy there. We can't, we're starting to have kind of the paw just out of the mouth versus something where we are maybe a bit further out with the leg and even like even maybe a potential a little bit of a twist in there, depending on where your end pose is, where we can see um, the different legs, where you can see the other one here. You almost have the butt over there this down here into a bigger curve to the side. And then we can see the leg here, you can potentially see the leg there, but maybe even a side here, just giving it a bit more visibility. And then this one is a bit rough in terms of like all legs going up and kind of bouncing around into this, even though this ends up being a clean pose. It just, it just feels very dangly and uh, you know, as you're not rotating these back, it just feels very broken in places. Whereas it reminds me of something here. Hold on. It reminds me of this. And I think that would be what I was thinking about just in terms of visibility. If I move this over and add that here to some degree, huh? Just seeing how clean it's also you know higher off the ground i totally get it but it's just cleaner in terms of how much we can see what the legs are doing versus this where there's just the head is so low and they're very like things overlap a lot where we have not so clear silhouettes compared to something like that <laughs> now you might argue this is also in the same direction sure but that's something i would push in this to go from this to maybe a different angle now you don't have this here because what I like about this one is that you're also, you have that head that's low, everything's down here. And then you got the big contrast of now everything is angled this way and the head is up. And then we have usage of space where the head goes over and over into, into you know, the end of the shot. Where with this, I guess the big contrast is low to here, but then we get back to kind of the same pose, if that makes sense, right? If I'm here and here, it's fairly similar. So I wonder if there's something where we can shorten some elements. Like all of this is, let me go up here. Like we're halfway through the shot, basically. Bring this in here, all right? That's my, my counter there. You can see all of this, all of this is sniffing and sniffing and sniffing. Then we get on this and that's then the bigger change till the end. So it feels like that whole half could be shortened into something where he might even start here or you have a, a nice change of more profile into a turn and into a sniff. And if you're arguing that, well, can't he see the creature? I mean, again, we're, we're, we're saving up to four seconds by starting here, but it could be something where, you know, you can put in some props where you have trees and make this, you know, this could be a grassy hill with bushes. And there's a, you know, thing is right in front of the bush so that the wolf can, can actually see whether prairie or snow could be a snow, uh, whatever you have here, right? Something that makes sense where those creatures are together, but with some foliage, 
so you can't see anything, right? It's all hidden. Sniff, sniff, sniff. And then you have this funny moment of this where it parts, it parts the uh, the bundle of grass or bush, whatever it is. And then this guy goes, what's going on? And through all of this, you could also have that going on a little bit more profile and turning around some faster moves. So then it goes through the grass and then it looks back and then you, but you need a moment where, where the carrot opens its eyes, you know, as it's looking and peeking through the grass or whatever it is to see this creature and goes, whoa, what did I just see here? Has that moment through there and you might jump further back a bit again. So we don't have that connection so that it might be further back, you know, so that the head is maybe here. We can always adjust this line to something else at the end. And then you can have this and then it just it flies away. But with this, instead of just that, it could also be something where this thing can open its beak. It could also turn around. I mean, it could also be something that as it, as it goes, you know, some of those leaves and things that kind of fly around, gets disturbed. And as it comes back, might be too much. I was thinking like there could be a leaf on here. And that's what the, uh, the seagull is going to pick. You know, so it's not just flying away, but it pecks at it. And I'm thinking maybe there's something that it wants and then grabs that and then flies away into that. And I'm not sure if we need that much either in terms of what's going on at the end. It could just be a, whoa, but maybe not. It just seems a bit simple with the up and down, especially just how the legs are behaving and how they all come up and down at the same time. I think this could be something where the freak out will be more backwards where then it gets a, gets a bit too human -y, but it would sit on its legs and it's behind and then maybe roll over into something more interesting or it could, it could just be you know and if you already have the grassy aspects of it and it kind of rolls back that at the end you have you have a lot of you know imagine this is this is the ground and it's all grass so that only at the end the head peeks out being all scared you know i mean and this would be this would be lower here so it goes oh, and rolls back and maybe there's like i said some grass here and only parts of it are visible and it's hiding between all of this which also would help you to hide some of the leg stuff and doing some of the more tedious leg work anyway i just you know destructive in terms of notes for changing a bunch of stuff but that's my my main impression is that this took a long time to get to this the silhouette is a bit muddy the contrast, besides the height, which is good, we could change, like I said, the angle, make that a bit more contrast and interesting. And then changing this a bit, that feels a bit off mechanics-wise and almost a bit simple. And maybe this reaction as well. So it's not just a fly away, but... So you have now the contrast of a big and a small creature. They're face-to-face. -face. And maybe even during, during this turn, it could just be this turn, but also the turn and the body at the end so that the creature both of them right they're like this but then the beak is here the head is here and the body is here and the, but they both face each other and now as an audience going all right there's a face off what's going to happen now and that's your big moment right now the big moment is just flies away and then and it scares the wolf but it would be something where what else could we do could the could the creature the, the seagull bring up its its wings and go Gah! and then head down and scurries through the legs to somewhere else. You would expect it to fly, but it's actually just kind of running past things. And that makes the creature, the wolf, go up, you know, maybe two legs on the side, one leg over here. Like, what is going on? Lifts both legs and that gets it off, uh, off balance and then lands and falls on its back and it looks upside down, you know, legs up going, what did I just witness as this thing continues to go out? Anyway, that's something to me where you might want to push that into something a bit more original and i just said that in the previous critique i know who it was where i said i know this is super lazy critique to say make it more original but that's basically like what is the thing where you could add something really specific to your sense of humor your sense of timing something something cute and funny like oh i did not expect that versus this feels a bit general um so that would be yeah I don't know, that would be my feedback for that all righty thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.